You've done everything to make your system a success, but you still want to chase that dragon for the absolute best sound. What's left, we'll get into in just a moment. Hi everyone, Mark from Audio Pursuit. Let's take on the tweaks. Now, I want to emphasize something first and foremost. If you're going to start going into this area, make sure you've done everything else first. You've got your system in place. You've got your speakers in the proper placement. You've done your room so it's acoustically really good. Then, and only then, should you chase into this final frontier. I want to talk to you about feet and sound absorption in them. Everybody's known forever that basically sound gets transferred through everything. Doesn't matter what it is. You are going to deal with vibrations. And vibrations can turn into sound. We all know this. Whether it's been our car or that brawn toothbrush. Now, most of the time they stay pretty much out of your normal realm until you've discovered something to absorb it. Well, in most cases, it turns out to be the feet on equipment. If you think back, basically DJs forever, especially at clubs, have put their turntables in various isolation boxes. Sometimes it's sand and then rubber on top of that, just everything you can imagine to basically avoid the transmittance of vibrations into the sound. For the home audio enthusiast, it became spending several hundred dollars on feet. These acoustic isolating feet. Well, you know, for a lot of people, that was just, it was beyond what they wanted to spend. So they lived with it. Uh, people who start reaching into the upper hi-fi realm, they had the capital they would invest. And usually they started with turntables, but they also got into speakers or into tube amplifiers. There is a market, but it is very small and for the very esoteric, the very advanced audiophile. Well, what about the rest of us? You've got that turntable you like, but you know the feet, well, they're pretty mediocre. But you don't have the big bucks to spend. Well, everybody, guess what? Mark Shifter and Dr. Viet Nguyen of Verify Audio have come up with a terrific budget-friendly solution. And that is the VBH-1. What does VBH stand for? Virtual Black Hole. These things come in two pieces. The first part is this little cone that you can see here. Okay, it's got a metal tip and then composite material. What they also send you along is a little two-sided sticky that you place on this, peel off, and then you put it on the other side of your unit. Now, in my case, is my Technics SLJ2 turntable. Then you do the next step which is once you got those in place, you get your base. What you'll do is you'll line up the base. This gets a little tricky because you've put these on the underside, let's say, and then you got to line things up. And so what I did was, is I cut some blocks a two by four. They were just a little taller than the VBH one and I slid them underneath my turntable. I next took the base of the VBH, placed it underneath right in the position with the cone, did that for all four, and then I removed the blocks. And that set it down into the receptacle. Using the wood blocks really helped. So I, I highly recommend something along those lines to help you line things up, especially if you're gonna go with even heavier equipment. Turntables, let's face it, are fairly light. But if you're using a tube amplifier or a regular amplifier or even speakers for that matter, you're going to need some help 
And that's the way to go. Let's talk about the VBH base. It's a combination of steel, nylon, polymer, and silicone. And what they are is they're kind of sandwiched. So understand, if you remember any high school physics experiments, if your teacher was pretty cool and did this sort of thing, they showed that if you took one type of material and then used a completely different type of material and then another type of material, each one of them basically couldn't relay all the sonic vibrations. So it took out some. So by using these different materials, you're isolating and technically, truly removing some of the noise. And remember, vibrations are mechanical in nature. Take those out, you get more silence. The black hole of sound instead of visual. Once in place, Fired up the turntable, picked a few albums. Now, I tried to pick albums that had a great deal of bass to them. So, luckily, I have a vinyl recording of Morph the Cat by Donald Fagan. Great deep bass lines. Right? And song after song is that way. And I cranked this room up. Now, this room doesn't take much to pressurize. As I said before, it's only 11 by 11. But I was really pushing in here. What I noticed from playing before and after and taking some notes is that it was truly darker. Not by much. And I want to emphasize this. Remember, that you're into the tweak zone now. But it did get darker. So how much... Noise was removed? Well, I'm not going to say a massive amount. The background was blacker. And that's what you want. And it went on through Dire Straits, uh, Brothers in Arms, and right across the river. Um, I picked up uh, some Tchaikovsky recently, uh, a vinyl album at a secondhand look store. Once again, there was a difference from before. So what does this tell us? Well, the mechanical physical properties of the VBH1 do work. The best part is these are just $199 for four of them. If you go looking on the market for similar such isolation bases, you're gonna find they're a whole lot more expensive. But for my turntable, I found a new set of feet and it is the Verify Audio VBH ones. Try them out. If they don't, if you don't notice enough on one piece of gear, try them on another piece. But if you're a turntable person, I highly recommend it. I certainly believe that you are going to hear the music in a clearer, more detailed way. So until next time, take care. And don't forget, please like and subscribe to this channel. 